Here in Butcher, it was discovered that some 400 people or more were killed during the Russian occupation. War crimes investigations are underway. Evidence gathered by civilians like Denis Daridov are essential. Denis, thanks for agreeing to speak to us. Show us what you found, show us what you saw. The 1st of April, I came here to the streets to visit a friend, but I saw many Ukrainians who'd been killed. They were lying over there with their hands tied. They'd been shot in the head. I have the photos that I took that day. You can see here the same billboard that says townhouse. And here you can see the innocent people who were killed by Russia. Russian soldiers. It's like after a robbery or a rape. We wanted to put everything in the laundry and clean it up with bleach, so nothing would remind us of the Russian presence here. You, you must have been, seeing that, incredibly afraid, frightened. I already wasn't afraid. One year of war puts you in such a state that walking among dead bodies, you only think about where you're going to hide if you see Russian soldiers. I'm not afraid of Russians, they're afraid of themselves. They brought so much suffering to my close ones, my friends, and very severe retribution awaits them. They will pay the price of their acts of terror and their acts of genocide. Yablonska Street here in Butcher looks today like any other, but all the fences, all the gateposts have signs of Russian bullets. And indeed, this entire roadway a year ago was strewn with bodies, civilians shot dead by Russian soldiers. But Butcher isn't the only place with war crimes to be investigated. The regions of Kharkiv and Kherson have their stories to tell too.